What's up everybody and welcome back to Dad Got Tech. This is the tech arm of the Dad Got This Empire. And today we're talking about something that has literally been the plague of my video creating existence, audio. Who got this? Dad got this. Audio is so important in your videos. People will turn off a video with bad audio way faster than a video that has great audio and a little bit janky image. And part of my problem is the two main places I record videos are echoey as hell. I record in this tiny room with walls and windows and everything bouncing and I haven't gone through and soundproofed it. I probably should. And then I record in our kitchen, which is all tile, all hard surfaces, this big cavernous echoey place. And it's been a struggle. I thought I had a solution where I was using a lav mic and my iPhone, but the problem was every lav mic I used died on me. They would either get bad audio noise feedback or like crackly, or every time I moved like this, then I would end up with like terrible sounding audio. So I've, I've migrated myself to using a boom and a uh, mic on a stand. Let me see if I can point up a little bit. So yeah, see, I've got my, so I've got a mic, a powered mic plugged into the camera on a boom stand, like right near my mouth. So far, this has been the best quality that I've been able to get and I've been happy with. But the people over at Pop Voice reached out to me and said, hey, we have a good lav mic and it's not expensive. Can you give it a try out and let us know what you think? I said, okay. So this is the Pop Voice 16 foot lavalier microphone. I'll throw the link down in the description. It will be a Amazon affiliate link. So I get pennies if you buy something off of Amazon and it helps the dad got this network. So they just gave me this to try out. They didn't tell me what I have to say but technically this is a hashtag ad. So we're gonna open this up and it comes in a nice little, little bag. That's pretty nice, little pop voice bag. All right, what do we have in here? Instruction booklet. The cord feels nice and thick. Some of the other cheapy lav mics that I've purchased, the cord was so thin it kinked on me. Dude, this is long. Holy, so we've got the lav mic. It's got its own little uh, pop filter on here, which slides off. I wanna get a look at the actual. That already looks more quality than the other ones I purchased from other companies. With audio, the way to get the best and crispest sounding audio is to have the mic as close to you as possible. That's just the way mics work. So like dad's boom mic setup and this lavalier, which will be right here next to my mouth, are gonna get the cleanest audio. The further you are away from your mic, the worse the audio is gonna be and the more ambient noise and echo and things it's gonna pick up. What else did we get before we go and test? We have an assortment of clown noses. So you got your red nose, if you're feeling like you need to do like a, like a bozo setup and you've got orange, if you know you need to do, no, these aren't clown noses. Ah. Um, these are just more pop filters to go on the outside of the mic, I guess, depending on what color clothing you're wearing. If you're wearing something blue, you could match it. I don't know why you would do that. People know what a mic is. This is an important piece. This is the PC filter, which would also be what you would need to do if you wanted to plug it directly into a camera. I don't know if they work plugged directly into a camera. I don't think they do, but We'll try. It doesn't say that they'll work with a DSLR. We got our little one, two, three. Plug that into your lightning adapter if you're using an iPhone like me. Plug your lightning adapter in here. Flip this somewhere close to your mouth, like so. And we are going to open up our recorder. I use a program called Voice Memo or Voice Record. This is a free app I got off of uh, the app store and we are going to hit record. 
audio, 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 audio. And it has an input gain on here, so I can actually adjust how sensitive. And you wanna get it so that you're getting your mic not in the red, but in that like negative six to negative three range, I think is good. Okay, so I'm gonna record some of this now on both mics and we'll switch back and forth so you guys can hear the difference in the audio on the 16 foot lavalier pop voice microphone. Thanks, Pop Voice. This is the audio on the boom mic. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. I just like saying that, I don't know why. And now, this is the audio on the Pop Vice. And now, this is the audio on the Pop Voice Lavalier Microphone. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. And this is with the lav mic plugged directly into my camera using the adapter. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. This is the audio on the boom mic. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. I just like saying that, I don't know why. And now, this is the audio on the pop voice. And now, this is the audio on the pop voice lavalier microphone. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. And this is with the lav mic plugged directly into my camera using the adapter. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. This is really simple. When I say sync in post, most programs like Final Cut, I edit in Premiere, and DaVinci Resolve can do this. iMovie, not so much, unfortunately. I don't think it has the option. What you also wanna do when you have two separate audio sources is you wanna do something like clap or something that's gonna be a loud sound that the, the software can identify in both tracks. I import my audio track and I import my video track and you literally hit a button and say sync, and boom, your audio is synced up. It's really easy. I need to do a little bit more uh, testing with like, let's move around, let's move around. We'll shimmy. I'm just trying to see if I get any noise from the mic as I move, because that was one of the problems I had with the cheapy ones. Uh, this one's cheap too. I think this thing's like 20 bucks. Uh, let me see, no, $13. I mean, uh, I should know this stuff before I do this. $12.99. And I think it's probably the best $12.99 that you could invest. This and some sort of external recorder, and you are in business. Here's another thing. Never have only one source of audio. Because what's gonna happen is, inevitably, something will fail your audio is gonna fail on you at some point in time. And by having two sources, you give yourself the ability to rescue that video instead of be just SOL. We are back on the lav mic on the iPhone because I can't get rid of that buzz plugging the lav mic directly into the camera. Totally sucks. No matter what I do, I turn the sensitivity down, no matter what, and it's every lav mic I've ever used. It's not the pop voice's fault. I've tried it with a bunch of different kind of lav mics. I can't get it to work. So when it comes down to the choice between iPhone recorded, lav mic, and the boom mic, which do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments. I have one more thing I can probably do to try and see to get the ultimate in audio, and that's to buy like an actual audio recorder instead of using my iPhone and record into that. I'm also interested in wireless lav mics. I'm interested in all kinds of stuff. I got more work to do. 
What do you guys think? What was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I already said that. Rambling, I do that. So even when dad rambles on at the end and has filmed his outro 15 times, I think now, because he didn't like the way the other ones came out and he kept having issues and things would happen and he's rambling again. You know, dad doesn't do outros, so that's it. I double dog to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of dad's dad ventures in tech, cooking, ridiculousness, and just whatever the heck is going on in his life. Make sure you don't become a dad video misser. They're really sad.